Hello and welcome to the Wine Turtle YouTube channel. My name's Jamie and I'll be your host as we taste and review popular wines from around the world and explore the grapes and the winemaking techniques that make them special. I have next to me today an extremely popular rosé wine coming from the south of France. It is of course the Chateau d'Esclan Whispering Angel Côte de Provence Rosé. Now Chateau d'Esclan really do specialise in rosé wine and they make seven different varieties. Whispering Angel is of course the most popular and the most iconic of all. It's something of a benchmark for Côte de Provence rosé these days and it's absolutely everywhere. So it is a blend of Grenache, Cinso and Rol grapes. Rol is the regional name for what is more commonly known as Vermentino. The production process with this wine is really really strict. To ensure the freshness of the fruit it is hand picked in the morning when it's cool and then machine picked at night when it's cold. It's all then hand sorted at the winery to ensure only the highest quality grapes remain. They're then gently pressed under a blanket of nitrogen gas to prevent oxidation from affecting the grapes. And the freshness of the fruit is then preserved by fermenting the wine in stainless steel tanks with the temperature kept as low as possible. I'm really excited to try this wine. I've heard so much about it. So let's get tasting. So it's a really wonderful colour. It's a pale pink verging on almost orange. It's a, it's a really lovely, uh, lovely colour for a wine. The nose is really delicate, very light fruit. Very subtle. There's, there's some light strawberry, a bit of stone fruit in the way of peach, and a bit of uh, watermelon. It smells very, uh, very refreshing. Very light, very delicate. And it is delicate, delicately fruity. A light strawberry comes through with a bit of pink grapefruit and lemon. There's a, a wonderful depth and persistence to the flavor. Still a long finish, a really lovely, dry, crisp mouthwatering finish. And almost all that flavor is still there. Wow. That it must come from keeping that fruit as, as fresh as possible all the way through the process. It's uh, There's a real depth and uh, persistence and, and richness to that flavour. It's, it's acidic. Light to medium bodied. Medium plus acidity and more acidity from the fruit there. Uh, there's that lemon, that pink grapefruit, which gives it a very um, citrusy flavor profile. It would just be incredible with a, a light seafood lunch on a, a sunny afternoon. It would be a really wonderful pairing. Yeah, lovely stuff. So how will I score this iconic rosé? A wine you hear so much about does it live up to the billing? Well, yeah, it does actually. The notes are really delicate, really subtle. There's just a, a bit of fruit there, a bit of strawberry, a bit of stone fruit, and then lots of citrus, by the way of mostly pink grapefruit. It provides a wonderful acidic finish. But the depth and persistence of that fruit is just something you don't see in wines that I mean this was only $20 so sub $20 you just don't see this really so it's got a real um, quality of character it really does the freshness of the fruit is so well preserved 
and you can taste that fruit 30 seconds after after you after you've taken a drink it's really wonderful so a score oh yeah, I'm gonna go eight out of ten a solid eight I was debating eight eight and a half I'm gonna go with eight um, a wine I thoroughly recommend it's really a really beautiful rosé um, I can understand why it's a benchmark for Cote de Provence rosé at the moment it's really well priced too um, yeah great value really punches above its weight and as for a summer's drink it really doesn't get much better so it's a bye from me buy this and goodbye see ya